What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tay. Nice to meet you and if you have not yet subscribed, baby girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you really doing? Subscribe to my channel and be a part of my lovely, fantabulous, astronomically lit family. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing something with this hair, baby. <laughs> You know, so I did cut my ends. Did I, did I put that in a video? I don't know, I might have. But I did cut my ends so like my hair is pretty even so like the puff looks kind of, you know, you know. It's there, it's in there like swim. Where? I'm literally taking this puff out to do it again, if that makes sense. So as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be um putting this bad boy into a puff, baby. Yes, because in the summertime, we just wanna put our hair up. And I remember once upon a time I was bald headed and I couldn't do this. But you can actually do this with any hair type, with any hair texture, with any amount of hair that you have. So don't be afraid to put your hair in a puff, babes. Don't do it. Don't be afraid. My camera looks so different. Oh my gosh. What did I do to it? Ciao. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so first, my head a little dry because I just came from outside. So we're going to just spritz it with some water. Yes, and I did get this bottle from Amazon. I might link it in the description box down below, but everybody use these bottles now. We don't use them gardener bottles anymore, okay? So my hair is pretty damp now. Do you, I did a twist out, and I took it out on Saturday, and today is Monday. Um, I didn't really like fully take it out, and I really wasn't planning on taking the twist out right now. <laughs> Y'all really don't care. Okay. All right, so my puffs are pretty easy. I literally only use three things. My edge control, my edge brush, and my edge booster. Oh yeah, my brush, four things. This is the edge control. It is for uh, thick hair, thick and coarse hair. I don't have coarse hair, but my hair is definitely thick. And then I lost a cap for this, so don't worry about that, babes. Don't worry about that. So what I first like to do is, of course, I put water in my hair. We are gonna brush all that up, baby. And I'm not gonna put the edge control in my hair because I already have a lot of edge control in my hair. I did a puff this morning. But if you want that sleek lick, you can just put your edge control in there. I feel so nervous because I haven't been in front of the camera in like a long time. Like my previous videos just been vlogs, honestly. Okay, anyways, so I have this shoelace that I got from I don't know what shoe. So I literally take it, wrap it around my hair, tie it in the back, and as soon as I tie it, I push it up in the back, push it up in the front. Oh, y'all see that oil mark? Oh my God. If y'all wanna achieve a big puff, do not like tie it all the way, just yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. look at all that oil. Y'all see how oily my hair is? Alrighty. And yes, you gotta do this a few times before you get it right, honestly, because this is literally a child in itself. Oh my God. Natural hair is a lot, y'all. Alrighty. Then we fluff it out. Fluff, fluff, fluff. I like my puffs big, so that's why I do this. Oh, do you see how oily my hands are? Alright, let's check the mirror. Hold on, let me wipe this all off my forehead. Yeah, this this puff, this puff passed the puff check. Purry. Okay, so next we got this edge booster like I showed you guys before. And we're gonna just lay our edges with that. Now, they need to make an edge control that when heat hits it, it don't act up. Because so far, whenever heat hits this head, baby, humidity. Oh, my hair don't know how to act. Okay. My hair start doing jumping jacks and playing hopscotch king but they need to find an edge control that when it when it's there it's there when it's up then it's stuck baby like even right now i'm doing it and it's flaring up so i'm still in the process of finding an edge control that works for me i'm gonna be doing some dramatic edges dramatic soups Zime. yeah yeah more juice and it takes literally a time like a long time to um get your edges how you want them honestly i might split this one up we bring an adult here down okay guys you know when people just stare at you and then you look at them and you find out that they staring at you and you stare at them back and then they give you that look and then you give them back that look oh yeah guys a try on haul is coming soon <laughs> It is spring, as y'all know. I'm literally recording this, and it's gonna be up right after I record it. So, yeah, a haul is coming. Let me just chit chat with you guys. A haul is coming. I went out and I bought some, you know, graphic tees. So, yeah, graphic tee haul is coming. So, be on the lookout for that. Make sure you guys turn on your post notifications so you will be notified when that video is up, honey. So, baby, I got some inexpensive graphic tees, and I'm gonna put y'all on. I think it's sticky. Let me zoom y'all in more. I used to be 
be so scared to, to um zoom out. I used to be so scared to make puff. Every hair video I do is a fail. There you go. Well, this is my puff. My extremely big dramatic puffing. It weighs in 10 pounds, five ounces, and these edges are two ounces, okay? So this is how you achieve a high puff. It is spring, you know, you know, you know. So you wanna do something, you know, out of your face and all that, just do a high puff, guys. And there's so many videos out there with high puffs, but I just wanted to show you guys my version of my high puff. Yeah, so if you made it to this point, baby girl, you made it to the and thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you will be notified anytime I do post another video. And without further ado, this dramatic high puff baby girl is out. Bye.